Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to crochet this pumpkin pillow pattern. This is one of four of my Halloween pillows. For this project you'll need worsted weight yarn in orange and black and a six millimeter crochet hook and a four millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a 14 inch by 14 inch pillow form, a tapestry needle, and scissors. I'm going to list all these materials down below. So we are starting with our orange yarn and our 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to start with a slip knot and we will be creating our panels. So once we have our slip knot, we're going to chain 44. Once we have our 44 chains, we are going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then in the next chain, we will do a single crochet. And we are going to alternate those stitches all the way down the chain. So next will be a double crochet. And then in the next chain is single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that all the way down the row, double crochet and single crochet. Once you get to the end of your row, you should have ended with a single crochet. And in this first row, you will have a total of 42 stitches. That uh, starting or beginning chain will not count as a stitch. So if you wanna count your stitches or if you think you need to count your stitches, the first stitch you would count is that first double crochet. And again, you will end with a single crochet. So for row two, you turn your work, chain up two. And in that very first stitch here, we are making a double crochet. And in the next, a single crochet. And this is the same as row one. We're just alternating double and single crochets and the double crochets will be on top of the single crochets and the single crochets will be on top of the double crochets. So there I just did a single crochet. The next stitch I will do a double crochet and in the next a single crochet. And we're just doing this all the way across and this row two is what we're just going to repeat until we have a total of 34 rows. So every time we start a row, it's gonna be chain two, start with a double crochet, single crochet, and then keep alternating. Our last stitch will always end with a single crochet. So go ahead and continue down the row and continue to repeat this row two until you have a total of 34 rows. So this is what it looks like when your whole panel is finished. You want to make two of these panels. Sometimes it is a little tricky to count the rows. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you how I count these rows easily. Okay, so here's the bottom um, of my panel. So I'm actually going to flip it over. Uh, and this is how I like to count it. So this, is the first row here. And then you see how the second row bumps up? That's the second row. So I know every like bump row, if that makes sense, or the, um, the row that sticks out more is every other row. So it's one, two, and then I just count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and so on and so forth. Um, until I have 34. I hope you can see that. I hope that's showing up. Um, but if you look at your own project, you can definitely tell like that there's um, a row that bumps out more. And then if you look on the opposite side, it actually starts with like a bumped out row. So if you're counting on the other side, I guess you would count, you know, these rows that sink in, but it's just easier for me to flip it in a way. So I know the first row is kind of flat and the second row is kind of raised. I hope this is making sense. Uh, this is just the easiest way for me to count the rows because when you look on the side, it is uh, kind of difficult to see where one row starts and one row ends. So there's the first panel. Go ahead and make two panels and then we will start on the pumpkin face. So next we are working on the eyes. For video purposes, I will be using white yarn, but you will want to use black yarn. 
and the hook size I'm using is a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook or a size G. We're gonna start with a slip knot and chain 11. Once you have 11 chains, we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet in each chain across. So for this first row, we should have a total of 10 single crochets once we get to the end. So here's row one complete. We're gonna turn our work, chain one. And in this row, we're going to decrease or single crochet two together over the first two and the last two stitches. So insert your hook into the very first stitch here. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the second stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And that is a single crochet two together or a decrease. And we are going to just single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that will leave us with two stitches remaining. And again, we're gonna do that decrease or that single crochet two together. So insert your hook into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert into the second stitch, which is also the last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And there is our decrease or single crochet two together. Chain one, turn our work. And now we're basically just alternating single crocheting all the way across and then doing that decrease row. So I will go through all the rows together. So that was row two that we just completed. For row three, it's just going to be one single crochet in each stitch across. And at the end of this row, we will have eight single crochets in the row. Okay, so that was row three complete. We're gonna turn our work, chain up one, and now we're gonna do our decrease row. So single crochet two together in the first two. And then we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, we'll have two stitches left where we'll do another single crochet two together. And that is row four complete. Turn your work, chain one. In this row, we're just single crocheting all the way across for row five and we will have six single crochets once we are complete with this row. So there is row five complete. Turn our work, chain up one. In row six, we're gonna do another decrease row. So single crochet two together over the first two. Single crochet into the next two just one each. And here over our last two is single crochet two together. And that completes row six. Turn your work, chain one. We are starting row seven. We only have four single crochets across for this row. And you can see it's starting to look like a triangle. Turn your work, 
chain one. For row eight, we only have room for two decreases. So a single crochet together, two together over the first two. And then we have two left and we'll do another single crochet two together. Turn our work, chain one. We have two stitches left. And in this last row, which is row nine, we are just going to do a single crochet two together. And then we'll chain one. And once we have that chain one, we are going to smooth out these edges. So we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So right here where you see that space, I'm going to make my first single crochet there. And I'm going to continue to single crochet all the way down the side. Anywhere I'm seeing a gap, that's where I'm putting a single crochet. Uh, you basically just wanna do one single crochet per row. It doesn't have to be perfect unless it really starts curling up. If it is curling up, that means you have too many uh, stitches on the side. So you just wanna do it as evenly as possible. And then when you get to a corner, do three single crochets. So here I got to a corner, I'm going to do three single crochets. That just gives it a more crisp edge when you put more stitches in the corner. And then I'm just gonna follow this side all the way across and I'm actually just crocheting that tail in as well. And then here I am at my next corner. Again, I will do three single crochets. And then I'm going to continue to just single crochet as evenly as possible. So the triangle was nine rows. So you should have about nine stitches going up each side. And then here I am back at the beginning. And technically this top point is an edge, so I'm going to squeeze two more single crochets in that last stitch. And then I'm going to join to that very first single crochet that I made. And then I'm just gonna chain one to fasten off. If you are sewing these onto your pillow, go ahead and leave a longer tail so you have enough to sew the eyeball or the eye socket on. But if you're doing something like fabric glue or even like a hot glue gun, um, just leave it short so then you could weave it in. So this is one eye. You'll wanna make two eyes and then next we're gonna do the nose. So again, I'm using white yarn for video purposes and we will be starting with a slip knot and a chain nine. And we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. The nose is basically the same as the eyes. The only difference is we are starting off with a smaller chain. So here we have our first row and you should have eight single crochets in this first row. We're gonna turn our work, chain up one, and we are going to do a single crochet two together over the first two. And then we are going to single crochet into the next four. And once we do that, we'll have two stitches left. And with those two stitches, we'll do another single crochet 
two together. So over these last two stitches, again, just like the eyes, we're just alternating decrease rows and just single crocheting all the way across. So there was row two, turn our work, chain one. We just did our decrease row, so we're just single crocheting all the way across for row three. And for row three, we will have six single crochets all the way across. Okay, chain one, turn our work for row four, single crochet over the first two, single crochet into the next two, and then with our two remaining stitches, single crochet two together. Turn our work, chain one. And this is row five. We're just going to single crochet all the way across. We will have four stitches. Turn our work, chain one. For row six, we will do single crochet two together over the first two and over the last two. Single crochet two together. Turn our work, chain one. We have two stitches left, so we're just going to single crochet two together, chain one, and we are just going to smooth this triangle out by single crocheting all the way around. Again, in each corner, you will want three single crochets to make more of a crisp edge. And that completes the nose. It's a bit smaller than the eye. And again, you want two eyes and just one nose. And next we will be working on his zigzag mouth. So for the mouth, we are starting with a chain of 62. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to and chain up all 62 chains. And once you have that complete, the mouth is just one row. So once you have your 62 chains, single crochet into the second chain from the hook and into the next five chains one two three four five so with that first single crochet and then the five after it there should be six total single crochets now in the next chain we are going to do three single crochets all in one chain and this is going to be where it makes a zigzag so there we have three single crochets all in one stitch and then we are going to single crochet into the next six chains one two, three, four, five, six. And if you look back, you can see that your work has that zigzag there. So that was the three single crochets making that turn in your work. And then now we want the line to go back up. So for that, we're going to single crochet three together. So in your next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the second chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and into the third chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. And now we are going to single crochet into the next six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if you look back at your work, you will see that it turned your line. So now we have an up 
zigzag and a down zigzag. And we're just going to repeat that. So next we need this line to curve back down. So we're gonna do three single crochets. And then after that, six single crochets in a row. And then that single crochet, three together, six single crochets in a row. And then we'll just keep repeating that so it's just a zigzag. So next we're doing three single crochets all in one stitch. And now six single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our last turn was three single crochets. So now we're gonna do single crochet three together. So there was that three single crochet three together and now six single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna do three single crochets all in one stitch. So if you look back, you can see the zigzag is still going. And then six single crochets all in a row. So go ahead and keep repeating that until you get all the way to the end. So here I finished and I already fastened off by chaining one and pulling my hook through. So the last stitches, you should have ended up with six single crochets in a row. So this is how it should be looking. If you are sewing this onto the pillow, you do wanna leave a longer tail so then you could just sew it right onto your pillow. And I actually turned my zigzag like this, just so these curves or these lines are sticking up on the pillow. So it kind of looks like he's smiling there. So once you have your face, you can go ahead and sew them on, glue them on however you want to put them on your pillow, you could go ahead and do that now on just one of the panels. And I'll put a picture here. You can pause the screen just so you have a guide on how you want to place his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. Hey guys, while we're paused here, I just wanted to say in the next segment, you are going to see a gingerbread man pillow. You are still in the right spot. Uh, for the pumpkin pillow, I seamed him up and I assembled him the same exact way. The only difference is you will be using orange yarn to crochet the sides together. Also, if you want to make this a removable cover, I will have linked down below how to make this a removable cover. So go ahead and head on over there if you would rather do that. So I'm going to start joining on this bottom right edge and go up and around just so once I'm done, the end will be on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this so it's easy for me to put together. So this is the bottom right corner and I'm just going to put my hook through both panels on the very corner. And again, I'm using white and we're just going to single crochet them together and in every corner I'm going to do three single crochets. So there I just did a chain one to secure it. And now I'm going to make three single crochets in this corner. And now I'll be working up this edge here. This is probably the trickiest part, working on the side versus uh, the top and bottom because the top and bottom, you can see every stitch that you need to go into. Here on the side, you'll see these little bumps um, just from the stitch itself. So I make sure to line them up so they're all even. 
and then I'm just going to start crocheting as evenly as possible using single crochets. So after every couple stitches, I'm going to just go back and look to see how it's looking. If I'm not happy with anything easily, I can just take it out and try again because you don't want too many stitches and you don't want not enough stitches because then that will create some weird textures in your project. So here I have a little stretch done. And then also when you're crocheting your panels together, make sure um, the front panel is like facing you just because the back of the stitching won't be as pretty um, or as nice as the front. I don't know if you can really tell the difference there, but I think this side looks um, cleaner and nicer than the back. So go ahead and continue to just join um, your panels all the way around remembering to do three single crochets in each corner um, just do three sides because we will need to add a pillow so once we have three sides done we can stick that pillow in before joining the rest of it. so here I am I have three sides closed up and I am going to put my pillow form in here and then once it's in there um, I'm just going to continue to seam everything together join to my very first stitch and fasten off and weave in that end and that is it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was helpful I hope you learned something new today and if you enjoy crochet tutorials be sure to subscribe to my channel